Get with your representatives. If you're able to make it down here for at least the hearing, uh, you have a chance of testifying. Uh, there was a whole, you know, the whole situation that was brought up about uh, 594 in the testifying hearing. There was a bunch of us that were outside. We got picked up and moved to the side by Gabby Giffords, and you know, Gabby Giffords walked by, giving me her little smile. And uh, some of us got in after we got some of them to go out. It was just this huge mess, and they had to request a whole bunch of signatures. That's a whole ordeal on that. Well, uh, so I'm going to keep my story short uh, on our website, secondforces.org. We do have some information of different levels of participation. Yeah, April 5th, uh, I can make a whole book on how the legislator works, but I know we have to give other people some time. It is a complex process. To get down here and just wander around, <laughs> you all know what I mean. I didn't know so, if we uh, were going to make it here today. Thank you very much for your time, today. and uh, look for your arms. <laughs> thought the rain would drain us out. Oh, we do this every year. It's like, oh, God, we need to move it back a month or something. Right? I know. I was here in 2013. Thank you, Jacob. Um, we froze our butt off then, too. Yeah. I want to take just a quick breather here before we introduce our next speaker. I know there's not as many of us here as we all like to see. Who was the guy that just spoke? Because I, I, I don't remember him last year. He's from uh, Take a Second minute, Amendment. Turn around and introduce yourself yeah. to your friends, your neighbors, your standing to. Yeah, he's like, I try to get pictures of him. The biggest strength in this fight yeah, is that we I don't have a Facebook anymore. I can't see my Facebook. In our neighborhoods, in our churches, in our communities. This is being recorded. And we introduce them <laughs> and gain their trust. And grow our common cause because we are a small group. We're usually bigger. But that's one thing that we have on our side is the sincerity of our cause. Gotta get the word out. You gotta get these people who think that, well, there'll, there'll be plenty of people there to stop thinking that way. I've talked to a bunch of them. Oh, why? I, I, before I left, I, I said that. Yeah, oh, there, there, still there's still people there. I don't need to go. No, we need everybody to go. Get out of your comfort zone. This is the only way you can. And that's if, right. If you only have 50 people show up because the other 150 figure, well, there'll be lots of people there. Well, what good does that do? Exactly. We need another big Got, got a special use. request for somebody that's got to leave. And, and we all know that part of the reason why we're here today is to support those gun owners in Connecticut. Yeah. Well, this gentleman asked us if we could all if we could all give a shout out to them. And, and everyone on the count of three, if you would yell out, Stand Strong, Connecticut. Anybody hear that? One, two, three. Stand Strong, Connecticut! Yeah! Thank you all. Woo! I don't know about you, but that adding my voice is to those of like mine is a very important part, and it helps me to understand that I'm not alone. We know that there are many out there that feel the way we do, and the more people that we bring into our group, the more people will understand why we fight for what we fight for and why we're here. Right now, I want to introduce uh, Alan Acosta. He's with the Libertarian Motorcycle Club and Oak Keepers, and that's out of uh, Sit Pierce and Look, on a leash. Thurston Pierce County. Come on up, <laughs> Alan. Let's give him a hand. Hey. Hey, even our dogs came, guys, and they're on a leash. They're on a leash. It doesn't say that the leash has to be held. Hi there, sweetheart. Again, thank you all for uh, she's, coming up. She's shy. Yeah, I like Oak your sign. Or, can I get a uh, picture of you with that sign? Because and, I have a uh, friend who just got the tattoo. I wanted to yeah, give uh, a unique uh, <laughs> First of all, I'm a naturalized. Hi. Hi. Sadly, the cop um, over there had to ask here. me what it meant. Oh, you're oh, kidding. No. That How are you? <laughs> Alive. Alive. At 85. Uh, and very I'll good. Here, I'm going to get this. Dance. You're going to be on YouTube. Is that okay? My father. That's fine. Okay. You're going to me. Well, somebody has to with one foot. I'm already in a cut set anyway. So I raise my hand. Uh, are you the real thing or are you dressed up? I'm the real deal. Thank you. <laughs> we come here well, last year too, things, so. You know, um, yes, I am. Yeah, I'm disappointed. I was hoping I to meet to more people kind of that I know of. I perspective and why I'm here today. Okay, Anna, so you're getting it back. <laughs> Let me. <laughs> Here, let me show your shirt. I can't wait to be on YouTube. You're gonna be on YouTube. Or reflections on YouTube. Right on. We'd like to come on, signifying the start of this parade. This is it. This is my anticipation was almost favorite. Me and the lady were talking that she's like bigger. Room, street lamp rattle in its place. <laughs> rusty squeaks of tread hitting pavement. When, when the I grabbed the bars of my, the window, no glass to press my face on. I see the gun tube on the tank as they roll down the avenue. 
I am in awe of the size and shape and magnitude of the line of tanks that roll by. My grandmother encourages me to practice my counting. I grew up in a time of turbulence in the Philippines under martial law. I was too young to understand the politics of governance of that time. It was just a part of my life then. Only when I came to America, I learned about freedom, a modern society, the founding principles in which our great American culture embodied. I embraced it fully and to heart. <coughs> Looking back at my childhood, I realized there was a price for that freedom. Later at night, rattling gunfire and quick sharp booms echoed in the short distances. Only when I went to school the next morning, I realized the cost and what the tanks were for, tyranny. So here we are, shoulder to shoulder, showing support for our Connecticut brothers and sisters and drawing the line, participating in their civil disobedience in the face of tyranny. As a Washingtonian, I stand with them. I am a lunch monitor, teacher's aide in my daughter's school. I am a father of a first generation American. I am a vet that fully, faithfully served. I am a community volunteer. I am a believer of the American dream and a product of that. I am a staunch supporter of the Second Amendment. I am a biker, political activist with the Libertarian Motorcycle Club. I am an old keeper. I am an American patriot. I am you. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers. For he today that sheds his blood with me shall be my brother. Firearms sins stands next in importance to the Constitution itself. They are the people's liberty teeth keystone. The rifle and the pistol are equally indispensable. More than 99% of them by their silence indicate that they are safe and sane hands. The very atmosphere of firearms everywhere restrains evil interference. When firearms go, all goes. We need them every hour. President George Washington in his first address to Congress. Say no to I-594. My name is Alec Costa, Libertarians Motorcycle Club Oath Keepers. Stand the line with me.